Most people in America are looking for, how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having? Almost like Mr. Rogers, we have the right to plan our lives. And why I say that is because he was a very fine man who lost his child and decided to be inspired to do something because of that. Everyone in America needs inspiration. And for 10 years of my life, I've been inspired by basically one woman who turned me on to God's life and his light force and what I want to do with it. At the same time, she's a light in my life in a way that she may not like, but I don't care. I can still love, I can still honor, and I can still produce my life based on that love and honor. A new one has stepped in front of me because God has basically given that name to me. Let's face it, I'm indigent, right? At least that's what people want to claim. But openly, I'm not stupid. And because of that, God honors me with the name. He actually gives me the name Evie, and I don't care if you know anything about a Levy, but the reality is in life, when I made my look to see who she was, I didn't give a shit what she was doing right now, because what I see is the potential of the future of what she can do. And watching her on her videos, some of them really good with the interviewers, and some of them not so good with the interviewers, but that's not her fault. It's more the fault of the interviewer who didn't make her look as good as she could. America needs better books is true. America needs good books is absolute truth. And here's the funny thing I'm thinking about. I might have met her a long time ago at a GKIC event in Chicago. And she might have actually been talking to the guy on the stage who wasn't the big main man that we thought he was going to be. And openly, she might have asked a question and I might have responded to that question at some point. So isn't that amazing how God does things today? Thank you.